In this session, we are going to discuss about LCM and HCF. LCM is least common multiple and HCF is highest common factor. And this is a very interesting topic from quantitative aptitude where most of the questions can be solved by eliminating the wrong options. Now to understand what is LCM and HCF, we must first have a proper knowledge of what is meant by factors and multiples. So let us first understand what are factors and multiples. So factors are those numbers which can exactly divide the given number. Now what is meant by exact division? Exact division is nothing but a division where the remainder is zero or the quotient is an integer. That is the answer is an integer value which does not have any decimal part. So factors are all those numbers which can exactly divide the given number. That means the remainder has to be zero. For example, one, two and four are the factors of four. If you look at the number 4, it is divisible by 1, exactly divisible by 1. 4 by 1 is equal to 4. So you can see that the remainder is 0 and we get an integer answer. Similarly, 4 is also exactly divisible by 2. 4 by 2 is equal to 2. And 4 is divisible by 4 itself. 4 by 4 is equal to 1. So we can say that 1, 2 and 4 are the factors of 4. There is no other number which can exactly divide 4 apart from 1, 2 and 4. For example, if we take the number 3, now 3 does not divide 4 exactly. For example, 4 by 3, that is 4 when divided by 3 is equal to 1.33. So as you can see here, there is a decimal part, there is a fractional part. The answer is not an integer. So 3 cannot be considered as a factor of 4. Only 1, 2 and 4 are the factors of 4 because they can exactly divide 4. So the simple point to be understood here is factors are all those numbers which can exactly divide the given number. Let us now see what is meant by multiples of a number. Now multiples of a number are those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number. Multiples are all those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number. If you look at this, it is quite opposite to the factors. Factors are those numbers which can divide the given number and multiples are those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number. For example, the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, 20 and so on. So all these are the multiples of 4. Why? Because these numbers are exactly divisible by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. 8 by 4 is equal to 2. 12 by 4 is equal to 3. So as you can see here, there is no decimal part when we divide 4, 8, 12, 16 and so on by 4. And the remainder is 0. So all these numbers are considered to be the multiples of 4. That is nothing but the multiplication table of 4. 4 into 1, 4. 4 into 2 is 8. 4 into 3 is 12 and so on. So all the multiples are those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number. That means the remainder should be 0 when these numbers are divided by 4. So this is the difference between factors and multiples. Factors can exactly divide the given number and multiples are exactly divisible by the given number. Again, if you can see here, we do not take 5, 6, 7 as multiples of 4. Why? Because 5 or 6 or 7 when divided by 4 does not result in an integer. For example, 5 by 4 is equal to 1.25. It is not a perfect division. Remainder is not 0 or we have got a decimal part in the answer. Similarly, 6 by 4, 6 by 4 is equal to 3 by 2, which is 1.5. Again, this is not an exact division. Or 7 by 4, 7 when divided by 4, we get the answer as 1.75, which again is not an exact integer. So that is the reason 5 or 6 or 7 and the remaining numbers here are not considered to be the multiples of 4. Why? Because multiples can be only those numbers which are exactly divisible by 4. So this is the difference between factors and multiples. Factors are all those numbers which can exactly divide the given number and multiples are all those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number. Let us take a few more examples to get a clear idea. Let us find out the factors of 5, 6, 7 and 8. Let us find out the factors for these four numbers. Now as we have all learned already, factors are those numbers which can exactly divide these numbers. So what are the numbers which can divide 5, which can exactly divide 5? 1. 1 exactly divides 5. Why? Because 5 by 1 is equal to 5. Now 2, 3 and 4 cannot be taken as factors of 5. Why? Because 5 by 2, 5 by 3 and 5 by 4 does not result in an integer answer. But 5 when divided by 5 itself 
is a perfect division. Why? Because 5 by 5 is equal to 1. So these are the only two numbers which are the factors of 5. And again, we cannot go beyond 5. Why? Because once we take a number greater than 5, the answer will definitely be less than 1, which again will not be an integer. So 1 and 5 are the only factors of 5. Similarly, what are the factors of 6? 6 by 1 is equal to 6. So 1 can be taken as factor of 6. 6 by 2 is exactly 3. So even 2 can be taken as factor of 6. 6 by 3 is equal to 2. That is a perfect integer. So even that can be taken as a factor of 6. 6 by 4 is not a perfect division. Why? Because 6 by 4 is equal to 1.5. So 4 cannot be taken as a factor of 6. Similarly, 6 by 5 is equal to 1.2. So even 5 cannot be taken as a factor of 6. But 6 by 6 again is a perfect division. So 6 by 6 is equal to 1. So 6 can be taken as a factor of 6. Similarly, when we go for 7, we get the factors as 1 and 7. These are the only two numbers which can exactly divide 7. There is no other number which can exactly divide the number 7. So 1 and 7 are the only factors of 7. And when you go for 8, we get 1, 2, 4 and 8 as the factors of 8. So this is how we can find out what are the factors of the given number. Only those numbers which can exactly divide the given number are to be taken as factors. Let us now take some more examples for multiples. Multiples of some numbers. Let us take the same numbers 5, 6, 7 and 8. Let us find out what are the multiples of these numbers. Now as discussed earlier, multiples are those numbers which are exactly divisible by the given number. So all those numbers which are divisible by 5 should be taken as multiples of 5. So those numbers will be nothing but 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 and so on. Why? Because all these are exactly divisible by 5. 5 by 5 is 1, 10 by 5 is 2, 15 by 5 is 3 and so on. So these are all exact divisions. The numbers which come in between are not exactly divisible by 5. So those should not be taken as multiples. Similarly multiples of 6 would be 6, 12, 18, 24 and so on up to infinity. The multiples of 7 are 7, 14, 21, 28 and so on. And the multiples of 8 are 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48 and so on up to infinity. So these are all the multiples of the given numbers. One important point that needs to be observed here is the number 1 is a factor for all the numbers. Why? Because every number is divisible by 1. You take any number, it is always exactly divisible by 1. So that is the reason 1 will be a factor for all the numbers. And the number itself will also be a factor for the given number. For example, 5 is divisible by 5, 6 is divisible by 6, 7 by 7 and 8 by 8. So the simple point to be understood here is 1 is a factor for all the numbers and any given number itself is a factor of the number there. For example, 29 is a factor of 29, 27 is a factor of 27 or for that matter any number should be taken as a factor of itself. And when it comes to multiples again, we find that all the numbers are multiples of itself. 5 is a multiple of 5, 6 is a multiple of 6, 7 is a multiple of 7 and 8 is a multiple of 8. So in case of multiples, the number itself is always a multiple. And in case of factors as well, the number itself is a factor of the given number. And 1 is always a factor for any given number. The other point that we can understand here is, if 2 is a factor of 6, then definitely 6 has to be a multiple of 2. Why? Because 2 is a factor of 6 means 2 can divide 6. 2 can exactly divide 6. And if 2 can exactly divide 6, it means 6 is exactly divisible by 2. So that is the reason if 2 is a factor of 6, 6 is a multiple of 2. Similarly, if 3 is a factor of 6, then 6 has to be a multiple of 3. Likewise, here when we say that 4 is a factor of 8, so no doubt 8 is a multiple of 4. Why? Because 4 can divide 8 only if 8 is divisible by 4. So that's like a close relationship between factors and multiples. If x is a factor of y, then definitely y has to be a multiple of x. Why? Because x can divide y only if y is divisible by x. So remember that always if a given number is a factor of the second number, then the second number is a multiple of the first number. And one last point that we can observe here is there are certain numbers like 5 and 7 which have got exactly two factors 1 and the number itself 1 and the number itself such numbers are called prime numbers 
we know that prime numbers are those numbers which have got only two factors one and the number itself so all the numbers which have got only two factors are considered as prime numbers like 2 3 5 7 and so on and the numbers which have got more than two factors can be taken as composite numbers so the difference between prime and composite numbers is prime numbers have exactly two factors and composite numbers will have more than two factors 